my God, there's nothing. There's nothing my God cannot do. Come on, we're moving, but declare that there's nothing. something's been old there's not one old thing that God can't make a new thing you know in, in the everyday cycle of life you can never relive history it cannot be rewritten it cannot be rewritten it can be uh, imitated it can be reenacted but you can't do that again God is the only one with the power to take all your mistakes Take all your bad decisions. I guess I'm in church with perfect people. Take all your wrong turns and turn your life around, clean the slate, and make everything new. Oh man, y'all don't know, y'all don't know who y'all worshiping here. There is not one thing that God can't make new. Now you can be married with old all you want, but knowing that I serve a God with that type of power, you got to wake up every day and divorce your past. Come on. All I need is the memory. I don't need the relationship. Because God is making all things new. Now this song is singing about God. Let's sing about God to God. You make Somebody's got to get this part in your spirit as well. 
if you're going to do this thing with God, there's only one direction. When, when serving God, reverse is hard to manage. Because the only time he tells you reverse is when he said, go back and complete your first work. That means you didn't go the right way from the get-go. But everything else is what? Come on, speak to your neighbor and say, come on, tell them, forward. Come on, divorce that stuff back there. Let's go forward. Come on, let's sing it one more time. You make you. Sheila Thomas, lift your hands. That's Sheila Thomas. She moved here from Georgia, faithful part of the church. I just wanted her to lift her hands so y'all could know who she is. She's been working in the ministry, came in volunteering. What can I do to serve? Blessing to the ministry. She got a diagnosis of an illness. When she came, she wasn't walking with that cane. And in the middle of that diagnosis, dealing with this issue, she got the notice that her job is going to be cut off. She's being let go. She's in the office. She's been volunteering at eye camp during the week. And she's in the office sitting down. And she says, Pastor, I've got a testimony. You know, it's hard to get news that something inside of you is trying to kill you. And then for somebody to tell you, we're not going to hire you. We don't need you no more. That's, that's, that's two heavy hits. He's going to give it to you. I'm trying to get somebody's faith to be built after this here. I'm just telling her testimony for her. She says, Pastor, you know I was losing my job. I didn't know what I was going to do. She says, but I got a call today. I got a new job, and I won't miss one day's of pay. I'm trying to tell you he's going to do it for you. I wish I had. Look at your neighbor and say, God's going to do it for you. God's going to do it for you. And I was never worried because I knew it. And she said, Pastor, you know what's about to go down Sunday. I said, it's about to be a heavy tapping in here. Because she's dealing with an issue. But on the other hand, God's provision and protection plan. See, believers, we've got a divine health insurance. See, health insurance is the stuff you need while you're sick. He's making sure she doesn't lose anything. What? Come on. You're fully covered right now. He's gonna do it for you. Look at him. That's a testimony. You get discouraged this week, I need you to say two things. Sheila Thomas. Somebody share that with me. Sheila Thomas. Don't forget it. Say Sheila Thomas. You feel like giving up sometime this week? I need you to say, Sheila Thomas. Because if God can do it for Sheila Thomas, I don't hear nobody in here. I know God can do it for me. And I'm not going to get mad that she got it before me. I got to celebrate because that means he's in my area. He's blessing people around me. And I might be next. God's going to do it for you.